In 2012, when I purchased my Nook Reader, one of the first books that I read was Moby Dick, a classic. Boring. It was at the conclusion of that novel that I got the inspiration to read every novel listed on the Pulitzer Prize fiction category. You know, it dawned on me that even as a teenager, I had not taken the opportunity to read many of these classics. I was also under the impression that if I undertook this project, then I would be reading the best of the best in fictional literature known on the planet. Well, on July the 5th, 2016, I proudly finished reading every novel awarded on that list dating back to 1918 up to the present day winter. It has been a long journey, especially when I ran into the problem that some of the books were out of print and not so easily available. Now, over the years, though I've kept detailed records of the task, such as there are 89 winners, in 1989, winning finalists started being listed. I've read over 37,866 pages on my Nook and printed pages. And I've spent $1,090.20 purchasing the entire collection. I also kept record of how enjoyable each novel was to read. I graded the enjoyment of reading on a personal scale from 1 to 5. Now here's a list of my findings. In the five star category, there were 25 books. In the four star category, 19. In the three stars, there was 10. In the two stars category, there were 16 books. And finally, in the one star category, there were 19. Now to be candid, actually more or less blunt, on numerous occasions, I could not understand why a particular book was chosen the winner because there were some that were, well, these were the books that I impatiently suffered through reading and prayed that the next novel on the list would redeem the time I spent reading a boring one. Was it worth spending four years and countless hours of reading? Well, from every standpoint, besides achieving my goal, the answer is yes. Over the years, I've read some scintillating prose that informed, educated, and delighted me. Now, all I have to do to stay current is to wait until April of each year when new winners are announced, although some years there are no winners. Speaking of winning, I'm really looking forward to who the 2017 winner might be. Hopefully, it won't be a novel over a thousand pages long. Enjoy.